What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing? I wanted to talk to you guys about what happened to me yesterday and I know every, everybody out there can relate to the situation that I was, that I, that I had. So yesterday, um, I wasn't doing great as far as Instacart goes. Um, I was at uh, 60, 62 bucks, I believe by like 11, 11.30, it wasn't wasn't a great day. I, and I, I was out since like 6.45, 7, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, um, I looked on Amazon, I grabbed a $135 block. I uh, ended up getting one more Instacart order. So it made me go up to 78 bucks. So I was like, all right, cool, I'll do that. Plus the 135, that's over $200, that's cool. So um, I went ahead and knocked out my block and it put me out uh, in like Anaheim area, which is like a good hour away from my house, hour and like 20 with traffic, you know? So I, you know, getting greedy, want to hit a bigger number, better number, me knowing that I'm going on, uh, well, I'm helping my dad out next week. It's not really a vacation, but um, me knowing that I'm going to be gone for a whole week, and I'm like, I want to run it up. I want to hit a bigger and better number. So I turn on the Instacart app while I'm driving down the freeway, bumper to bumper traffic, seeing a couple crappy orders go through, and boom, 57 dollar order for stater brothers pops up you guys know that's my favorite store to shop at it's a very popular store out here and so i'm like i'm like sweet this is awesome right so i'm driving down the freeway skimming through the, the details and i'm like okay this is a 10 mile delivery yes it's going in my direction which is great but i had to drive 11 miles to get there Okay, so that's one red flag there. It's already at that time, it was like six o'clock. So I knew if I did this order, I wasn't, wasn't gonna be able to work out because I would be getting home late. So I went ahead and drove down there the whole 11 miles. So it took me about like 15 minutes to get there. But guys, it was a hundred and I'm gonna put it right there for you guys. I wanna say if I can remember correctly, it was 118 or 119 items, 185 units. It was $57, okay? $25 flat tip and Instacart paid 32, which is pretty high. And of course, I should have just canceled and kept driving home. But I caved in and was like, oh, but it's $57, I'm gonna do it but don't fall into these traps because they mess with your mind because I could have just went home, said, okay, I made 200, over 200 total between both apps, worked out, you know, whatever. But I got greedy and I seen the number and everyone knows Instacart is a number game, but I fell, I fell victim to it, you know, I, I, I took it and um, Seder Brothers, I could, I could kill any sort of, you know, small, big, humongous orders, it doesn't matter. I had to do, I had to use two carts because they didn't have the big boy carts, but um, yeah, so I knocked it out. But the point is, once I seen the bill, the bill came out to $786. So a 5% tip is like around 40 bucks. So they tipped me like 2%. If you really do the math, it's really, really messed up, really messed with my head. And you know, I'm, I'm expecting to get either a cash tip out of it or an adjusted tip. Sure enough, did not get any of it. And I'm driving home after I did that delivery. And uh, yeah, I didn't get no adjusted tip, nothing. And I was feeling really discouraged. And I was like, why did I take this order? There's no reason to take that order. 185 units. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. If you're having a bad day, just, just don't do it. You know, use other apps, grab orders that are best suitable for you and what your goals are because I already hit over 200. I could have just said, okay, I hit 200, I'm good. Let's go home at a decent hour. So instead of doing that, yeah, I ended up hitting like 270, working like 13, 14 hours yesterday. Um, yeah, but I felt so discouraged because I'm like, guys, like this was a 25 flat tip and Instacart paid 32. And she was very responsive, very nice customer, but I pull up to their house. I didn't see them at all. It was like 27 bags worth of stuff, plus water, sodas, bunch of apple juices, like the big bottles of apple juices. So 
it was just not a good order at all it looked good at start but i was just like you know sp i spam took it which i never recommend doing and yeah just this is not worth it guys 57 dollars for 185 units going 10 miles even if it's your favorite store or not it's 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 uh it's a shame that Instacart allowed them to tip 25 flat because it was that's not even 5%, you know, and not not including as a 10 mile delivery and I had to go up a steep hill. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm happy that I ended up doing it for one reason. It makes my numbers look better. But overall, I will never do it again because it's just not worth it. I know better. So I just wanted to fill you guys in with my little story of something that I recommend for you guys not to do because everyone I guarantee you everyone has taken an order out there where you're like why did I grab this order it's too far too many items not enough pay or whatever the case is if she tipped 20 percent I did the math if she tipped 20 percent that could have been like a hundred and eighty dollar order if Instacart still paid the 32 bucks it could have been an insane order and I, of course I would have been all over that but we're talking a huge difference I hope everyone out there is running it up and killing it um, I'm out here on a Wednesday running it, running it up or at least trying to and I hope you guys are all making your goals happen Make sure you like the video if you enjoy my contents Subscribe to the channel if you're new and while you're down there click that notification bell that way you're notified every time I drop a video and uh, Drop a comment down below if you want me to do any challenge videos if you want me to talk about a certain topic Anything just let me know. I really appreciate the comments and until next time. I'm out. Peace Thank you.